everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to my 25 days of Craftmas series. During this series, I'm going to show you how to make these 25 different Christmas projects using your Cricut machine. And I also share the SVG files I use to make all the projects for free. So you can make them too. It's day 22 and today I'm showing you how to transform a plain pizza pan into a super cute decoration for Christmas. I used supplies from Dollar Tree, so this project was really inexpensive to make, and I just love the way it turned out. Now let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need a pizza pan, some white adhesive vinyl, transfer tape, a weeding tool and scraper, some sandpaper, red spray paint, a bow, some glue, rope, and of course, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. For this project, we're gonna be using the cut file called, We Wish You a Very Merry Christmas, BA1800. To find it, you can either click on Craftmas 2021 and go to day 22, or you can use your browser search and just type in 1800. Once you've found that link, go ahead and click on it, and the files will be downloaded onto your computer. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up and cut this design in Cricut Design Space. If you're not sure how to unzip and import designs into Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is what the design will look like when you first import it onto your canvas screen. So now we need to resize it so that it will fit on the pizza pan. To do that, we're gonna create a circle that is the same size as our pizza pan and then resize this design so it fits inside of that circle. So I'm gonna move the design over here for a minute and then we're gonna click on shapes and then choose circle and then you're gonna go up and put in the dimensions of the pizza pan. Now most pizza pans have a rim on them, so you'll want to put the dimensions that are inside of that rim. And mine measures about 12 inches. If you leave the lock closed, the height will also adjust to 12 inches. And then I'm gonna click on arrange and choose send to back. And I'm also gonna go down here and click on the minus sign, just so we can see everything a little bit better. Now you can select your design and drag it onto that circle. And then you can drag on these little arrows and resize the design until it looks good. Now we're gonna be putting a bow up in this upper left-hand corner. So we don't want the design to go all the way up here or else some of the letters might be hidden. So the size of this design is about seven and a half inches wide. And I think that size looks really good. So now you can select that circle and delete it. And the last thing that we need to do is select everything on the screen and then right click and choose attach. And that will just lock all of those pieces together so the Cricut will cut it the same way we see it on our screen right now. And that is the only thing we need to do on this canvas screen. So now we can click on the green make it button and then you'll be taken to this screen. And this is just gonna show us what the design will look like on the cutting mat. If everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Make sure that your Cricut is turned on and once Design Space finds it, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to vinyl and then you can go load your mat. So you're gonna place a piece of white vinyl on your cutting mat and smooth it down so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles. Then load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the Cricut will begin cutting. When everything has been cut, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. 
Remove the vinyl from your cutting mat and trim away any unused portion of the vinyl. Then weed away the excess vinyl from around those letters. You can use a weeding tool to help you pull out the pieces inside of the letters. Next, place a piece of transfer tape sticky side up on your work surface and then place the vinyl on top of that. Smooth it down and rub over everything firmly with your scraper and then you can carefully trim off the excess vinyl backing and transfer tape. Now that the vinyl is ready to go, let's go work on the pizza pan. Grab your pizza pan and give it a nice light sanding. You don't want to press too hard or you'll scratch it. We just want to roughen up the finish so the spray paint has something to stick to. The pizza pan I'm using is from Dollar Tree. I'm sure the finish isn't great so it was easy to sand it off. If you're using a higher quality pan, you might need to sand a little bit more so the paint will stick. Once you're finished sanding, brush off the dust and then spray it with some red spray paint. You'll probably need to do two to three coats. While the paint is drying, I'm going to show you how to make the bow I used for this project. I used three different types of ribbon. One of them measured about two and a half inches wide and the other two were one and a half inches wide. I cut two eight and a half inch strips from the two and a half inch ribbon and then two six and a half inch strips from the one and a half inch ribbons. Start with the widest ribbon and lay it crisscross on your work surface. Then place the smaller ribbons on top, alternating the designs and following the crisscross pattern. Once you're done layering your ribbons, take a piece of twine and tie all the ribbon pieces together with the knot on the back. You'll want to tie it tight so it gathers the ribbons in the center. Finally, I threaded some twine through a rusty bell and tied that around the center of the bow. Flip the bow over and trim off all the ends. And that's all there is to making this super cute bow. Once the paint on the pizza pan is completely dry, it's time to add the vinyl lettering. We're going to be using the hinge method to do this. So place the design on your pizza pan and then place a piece of painter's tape over the top. Adjust the design so it's straight and centered and then press the tape onto the pizza pan. Next, you're going to separate the vinyl and the backing from the right half of your design. Pull the vinyl over the tape and then cut off and remove the backing. Use a scraper to press the design down. You'll want to start at the tape and push to the right. Now you can remove the painter's tape and the rest of the vinyl backing. Use your scraper to press the rest of the design down. You'll want to start where the tape was and push to the left. And then you can carefully pull off the transfer tape. Next, we're going to glue on some rope. So add some hot glue on the inside edge and then press the rope onto it. You'll want to start on the upper left hand side. Go all the way around the pan until you meet the other end. When you get back to where you started, trim off the excess rope and glue the end down. Make sure to remove any hot glue strings. To finish the sign, glue on the bow in the upper left hand corner. Make sure the bow covers the area where the two ends of the rope meet. And that's it. This super cute Christmas sign is finished. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you want to get notified each time I post a new video, be sure to click on the notification bell.